<laughs> oh, let me put on some music. Hello, everyone. Ooh, that's loud. There we go. Ah! Hi, Max. Hello, everyone. Hi, Bunny David. Thank you for the first. I'll put you on the board. Um, actually, I'll do that. Mm. I'll do that now, but if somebody needs to remind me to do it later, too, because uh, all of my shit is uh, terrible. <laughs> Hi everybody! Hi Rhea! Thank you for saying hi! Hi Jedi! So ready for cozy time? Hell yeah! That's exactly what I have to offer today. I'm so excited for this freaking game. I got a gift set that's just so many fairy emotes. That's the best thing I could think of. Hi Rexus, how are you? And Max, thank you for the 34 months. Holy God. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> okay, hold on real quick. Where's so there's my there it is. There it is. I found it. I found it. Now let me get let me get Bunny David on the board here. Bum 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 done. Okay. Hi Ethan! Hello! I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. I need cozy time. I had a day. I'm sorry to hear that. Um I've been having a time. I was I was late to stream because I I I was like, why was my stream stuttering on on uh during the last stream? Like what the heck was going on there? And I have no idea. I have no idea. Like my internet is like super slow for some reason, which it should not be. There's absolutely no reason for my internet to be slow. Uh ever. I pay a lot of money <laughs> for my internet. I pay for gigabyte internet for God's sake. Um, so I I did like a restart on everything. I like lowered the bit rate on the stream. I like hopefully that fix thing fixes things. I, I truly don't know. I'm not a technical person. Um, I am. I'm technically barely even a person. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I I figured I'd I'd hop on here. I got a little bit of spare time today. Uh, so why not hop on and clean up the ocean? It's what my what my daughter would want. So, you know, I kind of got a like a whole thing. I ended up having to pick my friend up from the Antrax station and she wasn't uh, feeling well. Turns out she tested positive. Oh, no. Granted, we were both masked in the car, but still. Well, I'm glad you were at least masked. I I hope that that is enough. I truly do. Uh, I feel like everyone is getting sick in some way right now, and it just seems awful. So I am so sorry to hear that, and I hope you're okay. It just, it be like that now. It's like, it's it's damn near inescapable, you know? And I would, I would like it to be. I would like to continue escaping it. Um, knock on wood. I don't know why I said that, but here we are. It's been rough. I feel so bad. Everyone is getting sick. I know. Uh, Discord PSA? What's the Discord PSA? I'm okay so far. I'm just going to be masking up at work for the rest of the week and testing on Friday and Sunday. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But I am okay. I'm doing I'm doing all right today. Oh my god, these parody modes are killing me. Um <laughs> Um but yeah, I'm I'm doing all right. I uh I don't know. I worked. Uh I I got through fourth quarter. Um I I'm hoping it's better now. I I <laughs> I don't know. I don't I have no idea. I don't think it's better now. That's okay. Um so we're vibing, you know. We're we're hanging out. We're we're doing our our best. So yeah. <laughs> you know. That's all I got. That's all I got. So I don't know. I'm I'm very hopeful that things will start calming down now. I I I truly again don't know. Um, not sure. Um, so we'll see. Uh, you know, I I might be able to pick up some streams soon. I might not be able to. It just depends. Uh, you know me. I'll keep you updated uh, as best I can. That's about the best I can promise you. So, but yeah. Um, we're definitely streaming today. So that's happening. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, uh, Lottle Knot here today, which I'm super excited about. 
So if you're not familiar, um, Lottle Knot is it's a, it's a little indie game. It's super cute. You're cleaning up the ocean. I played the demo for this game ages ago and absolutely loved it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Just thank you for the honk and thank you for the egg. Hang on, let me get that egg. Uh, do I have an egg on here? I think I do. Egg. <laughs> oh no, my egg's off center. Everything's scuffed. <laughs> you heard no honk? Sorry. Here, let me try it again. I heard it. Did you hear that honk? Silence, but it's playing on my audio. That's weird. No honk. Hmm. That is weird. Just keeps turning up my OBS health. Oh, darkness, my old friend. I'm just I'm just in my natural habitat, Corinne. That's all. Hi. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna try it again. Anything there? It is super loud for me. Nope. Oh my god. All right, well I'm turning that back down. Oh my god, is everything scuffed? Your honk reached no one? No! Hold on, let me refresh some things. Let's see if that helps. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just here, you know? I didn't even see that's no good, which is no, that's no good. God. <laughs> Okay, it popped up this time. Did you hear it? That's the question. The Horge Horg. Silent Hedge. Oh, no. All right. Well, listen, I'm going to have to try and figure that out at some point. But uh, I don't know what to tell you right now. Silence of the Hogs. Oh, boy. Okay, hang on. Because, like, that's not even a separate sound alert. I don't control that audio. So I don't know why it wouldn't be. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't be working. There's straight up no audio? Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Oh, please. Okay, do you hear music now? Because there was music playing this whole time. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Everything like got super scuffed. Here, I'll do a test. Everything got super scuffed. Um, I don't remember what I was doing, but I was trying to like work something. There's the honk. Okay, cool. Um, oh, I remember what it was. My like sound alerts were sound alerts weren't working for some reason, um, and I had no idea why. So I was like fucking around with the setting. <laughs> thank you, thank you for playing my favorite sound. I must have messed it up. I'm so glad that 11 of you have come to join me today to watch me fuck up. <laughs> as is tradition, and as is my right to do so. <laughs> This is, this is my livelihood. This is what I do. Um, it's not my livelihood. In fact, I do have a job, uh, but uh, you know, I fuck up there too. So there's that. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. You know, if you're thinking about it, uh, I, I have a strong suggestion for you that you no longer think about it. Banish it from your mind. Um, run on vibes only. Uh, and yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got for you. I hope that helps. That's all I have. <laughs> I have nothing to offer you. Even my victories are hollow. Alright, I'm getting a little too depressed for my own sake. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm making myself sad. <laughs> Alright. Can I... Oops. Can I... 
my life. Oh my god, why? Why? But also, why? You know what I mean? Like, why? <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got everything good to go. So anyway, how's everybody doing? How we hanging out? How we, how we, how we been? How's our week? How was your holiday? I hope everything was good. Live Moss. Oh man, I don't. Mm. <laughs> How's Mike obnoxiously? Is this thing on? I don't know. I don't know what the what the the frogs are. Okay, forget it. Hang on. People, people, I need you to just take a deep breath. The frogs are here. The frogs, the frogs don't go anywhere. I promise. <laughs> All right, there's your Live Moss. Everybody just take a moment. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the just chatting stream if we keep panicking about the frogs. Give me my best. <sighs> Hi Elise, how are you? <laughs> I was living in the <laughs> the whole Decker taco and everything. Hell yeah. This is my Taco Bell order. <laughs> the cheesy gordita crunch and a Baja freeze. And we're, we're at the bisexual Taco Bell as God intended. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening. It's okay, I don't either. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I have no idea what's happening. Also, I just typed out Bunny Faith. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Boom, Bunny Dave is on this one too. We're good. But I'm at the Pizza Hut, but I'm at the Taco Bell. <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst rendition of Stella Maris by Einstein or Norbotten I've ever heard. <laughs> it's a joke for me and Jess. <laughs> oh boy. I know what's up. I know what I'm doing. I total I know what I'm doing all the time. <laughs> I'm so I'm so hyper aware of my life. Um, where am I? Who are you people? <laughs> uh, anyway, okay. So I was really trying to make uh, like a <laughs> I was trying to make like a horizontal version of this, and it is not working. Um, so I will try to make something horizontal for this later. Um, but I did want to let y'all know. Um, that I have like a little announcement to make and a nice dress and doing about in reference to the year of our glove 2024 amazing hell yeah <laughs> stick it stick with me kid <laughs> I think I heard Jess but my electric kettle was boiling and beeping so I will not in agreement in case it was really funny <sighs> I love you anyway <laughs> anyway so um announcement uh I put this on the other screen uh, we're gonna go back to all right listen you have to promise me that if I go back to just chatting you won't panic that the frogs are gone I need you to promise okay okay we're going back all right <laughs> the frogs are safe <laughs> they're, I promise they're they're in they're in the graveyard it's, they're playing goes to the graveyard it's fine um, <laughs> you promise I'll try I love you all so much all right so, so anyway, announcement. Uh, this this month, this month is my three. <laughs> I swear to God, this month was my three-year affiliate anniversary. That's coming up. It's in like a week or two. Um, so I wanted to do something kind of fun. Um, and it's it's gonna be pretty casual. Wow. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Praxis, I swear to God. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, though. Anyway. Um, so I wanted to do something kind of fun. Uh, so I've got a little flyer. Again, I'll try to make, like, a horizontal version of this, too. Um, but yeah, thank you. So I'm gonna do a little affiliate anniversary stream. Um, we're gonna start at noon on January 13th. Um, I'm gonna play probably some Katamari and maybe a couple of other games. I don't know how long we're gonna go. I, I, however long I feel like. Um, and I've got some fun little, like, um, goals as well uh so like it, like certain amounts and i'm gonna be like kind of aggregating everything <laughs> the nerdiest fucking thing i've ever said in my life 
And that's saying something. I'm gonna be aggregating the totals of everything on an Excel spreadsheet with some formulas that I put together. So, <laughs> so if you wanted, to, uh, like, if you wanted to do bits, if you wanted to do a sub, a gift sub, whatever, I've got it on the board. Uh, and these are my rewards, uh, like little things that we'll do if we hit like certain milestones. Yeah, so I've got like uh, just like some simple things, like uh, I've got some blind boxes, some some Kirby blind boxes. I hope they're in the mail uh, that we can unbox. Um, we'll do the night trap stream that I promised. I made a PowerPoint presentation for that. Uh, maybe a game night in the Discord. Uh, some building streams, like a Lego building stream. I've got like those cute book nooks. We could do those. Uh, and then yeah, a uh, Game Boy reshelling stream. I've got a Game Boy that needs reshelling. Uh, and I thought that could be fun. Uh, and yeah, and the, the big reward uh, that we're going to keep kind of on the down low uh, because, you know, there's no obligation ever with any of you to ever give me anything. Uh, but uh, for, uh, for the, the ultimate goal, if we hit it, uh, Zach will either join a stream or do a stream takeover. We haven't decided yet, but he'll be involved. <laughs> so. um, but yeah, and then like... Uh, There'll be a couple of chances to win like a Steam gift card. I've got a couple of Steam gift cards, like 20 bucks. Uh, but all of your little, uh, any donation up to like $5 equivalent, uh, will get your name on the wheel. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so that'll be, that'll be coming up. Uh, that'll be on the 13th of January. That's a Saturday, I hope. I hope I didn't just put the wrong date on there. But yeah, I'll post this in the yeah I'll post this in the Discord too, and if anything changes, I'll always I'll let you know. So, that's the goal. So I thought it'd be fun. I don't know, no obligation ever. I'm very awkward. Making any kind of promises makes me uncomfortable, but here we are. <laughs> okay. Boop. Okay, the frogs are back. Everything's okay. frog alert we're good good there i didn't answer your question hold on uh does tilt only get treats when we hit 10 or every 10 tilt only gets treats when you hit 10 um i i thought about like doing like oh i'll give her a treat every 10 um and again i i like i hate to be like oh well that could be a lot of treats because that's very presumptuous of me uh, but she does have to have just a set amount of food per day um, so she'll get she'll get treats and I'll you know maybe wave them up around the camera because we'll be on cam. <laughs> I literally just bought this game on Steam like two days ago. I'm very excited. I cannot wait. Um, I played the demo for Lottle Knot and it was so much fun. So much fun. It was very chill. Um, so I know that I was like, oh, come in for a chill, cozy stream because I'm a liar and I come in with like the energy of a thousand suns and then I burn out immediately and that's when we get cozy. Uh, but I'm very excited. I'm very excited to play this game uh, in full because the demo was a blast. Please do not encourage the overfeeding of delicate old ladies. Exactly. I also want you all to know that Tilt is going to be 16 this year. She's going to be sweet 16. So, um, I have not decided yet if I will give her a party. <laughs> she can get a driver's license. More importantly, she can get a job. Uh, like, nah, she's absolutely, like, actively ignoring me right now as I'm staring her down. She's an old lady baby. Mm -hmm. She's my old lady baby. But yeah, she has, she has a specific, like, a set amount of food that she has to eat staggered throughout the day, so... I don't want to accidentally give her too many treats because honestly giving her like more than three treats in a day depending on like what variation of treats she gets can be a little too much and you can throw up so. if they're able to fit in a lap there baby i have great news for her for the rest of her life because she weighs five pounds <laughs> I feel like the zach takeover stream would just be him sitting there petting tilt the whole time i think he would probably play civ um, we had like a running joke, uh, that if whenever Fable comes out, he was going to get onto his own Twitch, m like do a stream, stream nothing but Fable for like one sitting and then never stream again. 
But Babel's not out yet. So probably Sif, if I had to guess. I'd watch that. I watch it all the time. I watch them play Civ constantly. So, uh, for, for your sake, Jess, I will make the gentle suggestion if we ever do get to that goal uh, that he does not play Call of Duty. <laughs> so. Sorry if you hear, like, uh, plastic creaking. I am still running through my iced coffee from this morning because I am I don't have any tea right now either. As I said, everything about this stream is scuffed, and um, I make no apologies. It's been three years, you should have figured this out by now. Actually, August, it'll be four years that I started streaming, which is just wild to think about. Thank you, I got you. So, anyway, um, I don't know what uh, the music situation is. The stream is perfect. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know what the music situation is in Lottle Knot. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't remember if there is music. Uh, I think there's like uh, ambient noise and stuff that we can sound. Um, if that's the case, I can, I can always put the music back on. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. We have been talking. I've been talking your ear off for about a half hour, as I do. I tell you, you're like, you just, you can't give me. <laughs> You can't give me space to talk or I'll never shut up. Uh, one of my favorite things to like tell Zach, like when he's like, oh, you know, you were on the phone for a while or you were in that Discord phone call for a while. And I was like, well, we got to talk. And he was like, all right. <laughs> I just, I'm my mother's daughter sometimes. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> the chatty tag is this for a reason. Exactly. I'm a chatty bitch. What could I do? Is who I am. All right. I just turned the game music on. Let me know if it's uh, too loud or too quiet or anything. But it's uh, just keep in mind right now, it's very, very soft ambient noise. Little tiny bit of music. I do not mean this is an insult, but that is truly the most Midwest thing I can think of. The funny thing is that like that comes from like my Southern ass family. Well, we got to talking, but. <laughs> Uh, I, I, um, I, thankfully I am not a Midwest goodbye person. I do have a friend who is dead ass a Midwest goodbye person. You could be like at like walk into the car and he's still talking to you. Like, all right, <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> hey Lucy, how's it going? Oh my God. It's me. It's a me. Mario. With all my YouTube King Tuber thing and it's just Mario. I'm an Irish goodbye person. I wish I was better at Irish goodbyes. I really do. But I'm not. <laughs> I feel really awkward when I leave without saying anything. You know what I mean? Because, like, I've literally, like, I've, well, because also, you know, the Midwest, I, if I do, like, an Irish goodbye, I get people, like, like texting me and yelling at me for not saying goodbye. So. <laughs> It's also a Filipino goodbye as well. There you go. That's how it is. That's like uh, my, <laughs> my dear mother. <laughs> my dear mother also does the Midwestern goodbye. She has to give you like three hugs before she leaves. Here's how it goes. Going all right, just kind of chilling. We'll take chilling. That's the goal here. Uh, that's certainly what I'm trying to do today. We're leaving out the door and suddenly you're like, oh wait, I forgot. And then a whole new conversation begins with the door wide open. I'll have to find that TikTok. Jedi, you might know this TikTok, uh, but it's like the, um, the, the person has like a Sharpie and they're like heading to the door, new conversation, going to the car, back to the conversation. I'll have to see if I can find that. I'll put it in Discord. It's, it's one of my favorite memes and it's, it's so many people I know. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sitting in the corner while it's all happening, like... <laughs> Max is, like, having that moment where he's the kid in the grocery store and his mom found somebody that she knows. Like, we'll all be talking, slowly move towards the door, stand around by the door, slowly put on our coats, stand there sweating in our coats. Yeah, that's a that's a universal <laughs> Midwestern experience, just sweating in your coat. Open the door, stand on the porch, tell Dad who has been in the car with him running for half an hour, starts to 
fucking... As my dad wouldn't even have been there. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not going. They don't shut up. <laughs> when the host gets in your car <laughs> to continue the conversation. You know, you mind if we drive to the grocery store real quick? I'm out of milk. <laughs> I'm out of high life. We need to pick up more high life. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. If my mom and my sister have to go shopping and I'm feeling too introverted, I just sit in the car and take a nap. Benefits of being designated driver. That's fair. Oh, landing sequence. We're a space person? The demo doesn't tell you that. <laughs> this is new. <laughs> Preparing to dive. I hope we come across Scatamar. Uh, Ooh, sorry. I hope we come across Katamari Scuba Cat. Goodness. I low-key thought this was 2D Pikmin. That would be great. I've seen my aunt follow my mom to the car and she will get in and roll the window down to keep talking with her. This feels very familiar, yes. <laughs> I'm intimately familiar with this situation. Hello, I'm Dave. Oh, I'll be your supervisor during your time on this planet. Together, we have the honor of restoring GUP-14, once owned by the powerful Guppy Corporation. Mm -hmm. It's not often that we get to clean up after a big name company like Guppy. They're an important client, so we need to do a good job. I'm afraid I cannot do that, Dave. Your first task is to clean up the pollution in your home cove. There's a lot of it, so you better get to work. Wow, okay. <laughs> This is just my job, isn't it? Oh no. Maybe we'll find some cool rocks. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Okay, so send. Ooh. We send. Oops. Ooh, we got one. Nice, nice, nice. Objective, collect huge sea seashells. Hell yeah. Dave's not here, he's on the ship. <laughs> then she finally leaves and mom's like, it's so cold and dad's like, I've had the heat blasting since I got here to work. <laughs> the heat out talking with Kathy. Not letting the heat out. Oh man. I love this. I love everything about this. This is exactly, this is my, this is my life, this is my childhood. My dad always cracked me up though because he's like, no, no, I'm not going because you're going to get there and you're going to be talking. You're going to get to talking. <laughs> That's going to be it. What is that? I assume that something uh, away. No offense, Kathy. I love Kathy. You know, it's sometimes you just got to be a chatty Kathy. I mean, how are you going to name your kid Kathy and not expect her to be chatty? I'm just saying. Okay. Did I get all the garbage? Oh, no, there's something down there. I feel like you'd like a game called Cozy Grove. It's on Steam. Oh, I have, um, I have great news for you, Lucy. I played Cozy Grove for like 190 hours on stream. <laughs> I think I've got like 30 fucking uh, uh, stream uh, archive videos of Cozy Grove. <laughs> it was a wonderful game. I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, I, I got super into Cozy Grove. Alright, how do I... Oh no, that didn't work. Hang on. How do I give you? Oh, there we go. I don't know if these go in a particular place, though. I have learned how to use the recycle bots. Your litter collection pro progress is indicated by the yellow meters. Okay. Well, we nailed it. So, good for me. We'll need them in the future once you start collecting more advanced pieces. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> it's so cute. I love the bear go- Oh my god, that's true. That is like super up your alley, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> the bear ghosts are great. 
enjoy the same comfy games they should have expected this outcome true true um yeah cozy grove like as soon as that came out i was like i'm streaming this and uh that's actually one of the games that started um i for a while i was doing mellow mondays uh, because mondays are usually a pretty hectic um day of the week just in general but for me and um i would just uh I would say like oh we'll we'll do it like a really chill game and then we'll drink some tea. Um, so that's what what I did for Mellow Mondays. It was a great time. I enjoyed that. I do miss that a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Congratulations! You've proven yourself capable of performing basic litter collection. I'm moving on up, Ma. You are now authorized to leave the home cove. Please proceed to Ripple Reef for your next task. That's adorable. So you do run out of oxygen in this game. Uh, those little rings right there, those will replenish your oxygen. And I think at some point we can like get better tanks and stuff, so. Are you a fan of comfy city build uh, builder games? If so, you could try the Wandering Village. I have that on my wish list, I think. I wonder if Dave was also a diver. We'll keep him away from the fish then. <laughs> um, okay. ah, please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. In my wish list, or did I buy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. For sure. I thought that was on my wish list, but I guess not. I played Wandering Village pretty early on release, and it was a lot of fun, but a little bit buggy. Haven't gone back to it for a bit. That's fair. Reaching food coma status? Good. But it's a successful... Successful meal, then. Okay. So I just have to find... Them. There's two ways I can go. Okay, well, let's try this way. Leftover Japanese curry and a baked potato. Ooh. That sounds so good. You've just left an oxygenated zone. You'll need to monitor your oxygen meter from now on. Yeah, I know. Be sure to periodically refill your oxygen tank at the nearest range. I know. But you're keeping me from doing that, so, you know, get your shit together, buddy. I know what to do with these. I'm gonna zap the goop. No, you don't have to tell me. I'm just gonna zap it. This is toxic waste material that we call goop. Use the laser on your bubble gum to neutralize it quickly. I said bubble gum. I meant bubble gun. Oh. oh, do I need to go? Oh. Okay. Great work. Fully clean plants have increased resistance to the goop spread. Make sure you are thorough in your cleaning. You got it, boss. So, do I, like, have a union, or... Am I actually becoming Garfield right now? Hell yeah. Please do not attempt to eat that fruit. We don't know effect what effect it has on humans. I mean, this sounds like Twitter talk to me, frankly. I'm throwing that out there. I don't like being told what to do. Okay. I'm paranoid. Coral Carol. Hair. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, I got put back on rubber bands uh, with my braces, and uh, oh boy, am I like for some reason just feeling it today. I legit thought it was a tree. It's a microwave potato? Who cares? That sounds amazing. Ooh, what's this? Okay, cool flower. I can go for a baked potato, I'm not gonna lie to you, that sounds delicious. There you go. <gasps> Ooh. Found a tin can. Moving on up. I mean, Kuroshi? What's Kuroshi? No, you've told me this before. You've told me this before. I. Did I have dinner?
Uh, well, that's awkward. I will have dinner, probably, at some point. And chili and cornbread, that sounds so good. Can I come over? I would like some chili and cornbread. I'm having chicken nuggets and apple slices with peanut butter for dinner because I am a child. Eh, fair. Mr. Explosion made taquitos. Is this from Costco? I don't care. I love some taquitos. Maybe I'll make chili next week. I was gonna make chili this week too and it just totally slipped my mind. I need to do that. I did make, uh, well, I didn't make it. Zach made a huge pot of mascioli. We just take turns on that. And uh, technically there's enough of that for me to eat for like a week. I just have enough. Is this the reef? I hope. Hello? I found Ripple Reef. Welcome to Ripple Reef. This area has surely seen better days. Well, you know, haven't we all? I'm not sure what Guppy did to pollute this reef so heavily, but it's not our job to question Guppy's actions. <laughs> Time to start cleaning. Oh, they were in a nightmare world. Cool. Broshki is Russian baker fried. He's even a boat cake bug from Friday. Uh, filling. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm aware of those. That sounds incredible. Um, I just, I, I don't cook that good. <laughs> just, I wish I did, but I, I just don't. Uh, cooking has never been my forte. I can bake like a motherfucker if I do say so myself. Uh, but I, I, I can't really cook. <laughs> I always like, people always say like, well, it's two different kinds of things, you know? Like cooking is very much uh, an art form, whereas baking is more methodical, which I agree to, to an extent. Once you get to like the decor part of baking, it is very much not uh, as scientific and it really is it really does become an art form there I've, I've had some very talented uh, friends that I have done great with so oh Liz I thought of you and Zach the other day why tell me ooh got an anemone I'm a mammy Bro uh broski I make little potatoes carrots and gravy Sounds lovely. I can't bake for shit. I can bake. You know. I think. I feel like I can bake. I think I'm pretty good at it. Uh, like if there's if there's ever something that'll make you doubt whether or not you can bake well, uh, it's a bad stove. Let me tell you. Your suit is running low on oxygen. Your scan use your scanner to locate. Oh. Show me a ring. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, well, that's a problem. Show me a ring, please. Uh -oh. oh, there's one. I leave the baking to my daughter. She asked me to make dinner tonight, though. That's fair. You get to have a, like, nice little thing that you can both do. It's a tradition. Sorry, I'm gonna pause. I feel like baking has a lot more ratios involved. I like baking because it's precise measurements and then you can just tweak things as you need to. That's my favorite thing about baking. Cooking, if you fuck it up, it's fucked up. Baking, you can always salvage. One way or another. Either you can find somebody who doesn't mind bad baked goods or you can redo the recipe. So, like you fuck up a cake, fine. Make some cake pops, fuck it, you know? You fuck up some cookies, depending on the cookie, you can make a crust for a cheesecake. You know, there's always something you can but cooking, like, there's a lot of nuance to cooking. And I've, I've said this a thousand times. But there's, there's a lot of nuance to cooking, and I just don't have a great handle on it. Um, there's a lot of basics that I don't know. That I, I have learned over the years a little bit, but it's never been my strong suit. It's, it's just never been my strong suit. Uh, it's a tra tradition in my family to listen to the Veggie Tales Christmas special on the drive to my grandma's for Christmas. And one of the songs is just... 12 days of Christmas, but all the gifts are just Polish food. <laughs> Fantastic. Mess up a cookie, make it into a cereal. There's a lot you can do with like messed up baked goods. You know, there's always something. 
Or you can just suck it up and eat it. Like, even if a baked good is, like, not great, it's still not terrible for the most part. Unless you put, like, I don't know, some weird shit in it, like fish paste. But otherwise, you know, it's probably fine. Like, I've, I've absolutely, like, fucked up on baking before, and the nice thing about baking and, well, the nice thing about, like, the people that I have in my life in general is that none of them are ever a harsher crit critic than I am to myself. Like, I am most definitely my worst critic, whereas, um, you know, most of the friends and family that I have are very nice and supportive. So, I'm like, oh, this is terrible, and they're like, I'll still eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so. I do like that it'll automatically go to the next nearby thing. Yeah. The best part of it is five smoke killed bosses. Oh my god. Perfect. Speaking of polling, I saw. Poland, sorry, I can't talk. Uh, I saw a reel today that was like, Simlish sounds like. Polish with an American accent and it blew my mind. Ooh, kind of. Kind of. I had a, I had a friend for uh, a while, um, like a co-worker, who was um, like first generation. Uh, parents were from Poland, spoke fluent Polish, um, who would like audibly cringe every time she heard the word pierogies um, because it's not the, the plural of pierogi is pierogi <laughs> and I don't know I just irked the shit out of her and it was so funny to watch because a lot of the people in this area are um, not uh, not like they do not have any Polish family left in Poland so <laughs> Cooking and baking is nice. Again, the lack of working dishwasher makes me not want to do it, though. Very valid. I see sinks full of dirty dishes after cooking, and I'm like, no. Yeah, when when we like when we didn't have a dishwasher, uh, I tried to make like you know as little food as I could, <laughs> which not great, but we did eat like a lot of takeout. <laughs> so, a lot, a lot of takeout. Or, you know, crock pot stuff. Crock pot's always good. Oh, I think I can get oxygen from this. Yeah, boy fag. Thought I remembered that. It's so satisfying. This is the whole game. You're just cleaning up Ripple Reef. You're cleaning up various little spa spaces. And then eventually we're gonna find ourselves a little friend. And then we're gonna bring that friend home. And it's gonna be a wonderful time. And a boiled potato top with dill weed. Oh boy. Two steam for yeah. Mm -hmm. I never forgot that though. Now, so now I I, I always do uh, pierogi singular. I'll have to see if Zach knows that song. I kind of doubt it. He doesn't strike me as a Veggie Tales kid. But sometimes we surprise one another because we did not grow up on a lot of the same media, which is so funny to me. Uh, because like we're all, we're only like a year and a half apart, but like we did not grow up on the same media for a lot of things, especially because like he didn't have cable, and like I didn't have cable a lot of the times. But when I like when I did, I watched a lot of TV as a kid. <laughs> that comes with the unfortunate uh, reality of having to wash the stone basin of the crock pot. Yeah, I do hate washing a crock pot. I'm not gonna lie to you. And it's never a great time. I hate how legit funny Veggie Tales could be. I don't think I've ever seen it. Didn't he say he thought Drop Dead Fred was a children's movie? He thought it was because I always mentioned that I watched it when I was a child. Um, like I always watched it when I was a kid. So in his mind, and it sounds like a kid movie, you know? It's like, well, it's about a woman whose imaginary friend comes back. That sounds like a kid movie if you think, if, like, think about it. Um, and then I made him watch it. And he was like, I thought this was a children's movie. I'm like, no, no. No. This movie's fucked up. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so. But I mean, you know, we both grew up on like things that were not kids' movies. 
Um, it's really funny to me that like one of one of Zach's favorite movies from when he was a kid is the Maltese Falcon. <laughs> so. the biome is now clean enough for some native creatures to live here. Nice. Uh, let me. This is incredible. Hell yeah. Apparently his grandfather used to watch it all the time and that's that's the end of the story i'll tell there because that's not my story to tell but yeah so he grew up watching it and then i was watching drop dead fresh <laughs> although i had uh the unfortunate uh uh older sibling thing where like uh they would just make you watch whatever they watch so i did not have control over the remote and therefore watched a lot of media that i should not have been watching at my age is what it is. Hey. The quintessential MacGuffin. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Like, I thought it was a kid's movie. And I was like, it is. Oh no, Secret of Nim. Secret of Nim is a kid's movie. It's just a kid's movie for when you hate your kids. A kid's movie if you're not a really big fan of your own kids. Or, you know, if somebody else's kids are there. I don't know. Uh, Secret of Nim was, uh, one that we watched a lot when I was a kid, and that, ooh, ooh, that'll fuck you up. That'll fuck you up? I love Secret of Nim. Hell yeah, it's a great movie. Those Don Bluth, I think that's a Don Bluth one, right? Those Don Bluth movies just hit a little different in like a fucked up way. <laughs> That's all. I mean, a lot of kids' movies are a little fucked up from time to time. So. Now me playing Postal 2 as an 8 year old because my older brother thought it'd be funny. Oh no. Yeah, my, um, my siblings decided that, uh, I needed to watch Nightmare on Elm Street <laughs> at like 6. So that was fun. We watched a lot of horror movies. It's uh, it's always great for a child. Always great. Especially when it's not like, it's not like, it's not played for you to be like normalized to it. It's played for your siblings to fucking scare the shit out of you because of it. So, you know. Siblings are fun. Siblings are fun. <laughs> I mean, my sister and I thought it'd be a good idea to watch Evangelion when I was like 10 or 11. We regretted our decision. Why? It's the perfect time to watch Evangelion. Per <laughs> you gotta start them young so they know that there's no hope. <laughs> and everything's fucked up. You gotta, you gotta get that, get that established early on in life, you know? I say pre-K, you know? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Okay, looking pretty good over here. All right, and you're sprayish. I watched Silent Hill as a child. It's perpetuated my automatic. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the Silent Hill movie. I'm pretty sure I saw it in theaters. Man, that was not a good movie. <laughs> not a good movie. I see there's a little guy there, and I'm gonna get him in a second. But he's not a rock. Actually, I'm gonna come over here real quick. So, I feel like we're really close to getting everything. Else. God, I was scared of Pajama Sam 3 and the monkeys from Twilight Princess as a child. If someone had showed me an actual horror movie, I think my I probably would have just ceased all brain function. Like when people joke about like showing something to a Victorian child, but it's Jedi. <laughs> Watching Puppet Master. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. Ninety-five percent. This is coming from uh, me who watched Paranoia Agent when I was in fifth grade and loved it. They weren't amazing movies, but they weren't the worst. You know, it's fine. I watched some terrible movies. I made my mom take me to see Final Fantasy The Spirits Within. 
you know? We all make mistakes. It's fine. <laughs> Come here, little dude. <gasps> Check on Lottle! Oh my god. Oh, that's just Lottle. It looks like it's covered in goop. Unfortunately, you're not authorized to use your laser on local wildlife. Not after what happened last time. Best to just ignore it for now, but I want to use my laser on it. I paid to see that shit. I had my mom pay for it. So, you know, that's on you. <laughs> In all fairness, though, Sean, a movie ticket back then was like four dollars. You were fine. Showing a medieval peasant Reddit would probably make him spontaneously combust. <sighs> My sister bought the movie on DVD. We still have it. Can you like some Dawn dish soap and a soft sponge? Absolutely. Why would I use my laser on the axolotl? <laughs> Uh, okay. How do I? I want to help you. Status. Goopy. Condition. Goopy. Mood. Feeling goopy. Hunger. Too goopy to eat. I, I understand. That's how I feel like when I wake up and my sinuses are all backed up. I'm too goopy. <laughs> how do I help you? Poor baby. It's just a little baby. We can rename it. Oh, we have to randomize it. Can I put a name in? <gasps> I'm gonna name it. Mm. What do we name it? Mm. We gotta name it. Me too, Axolotl. I too feel goopy. You know, sometimes you just feel kind of goopy. Ice cream? You got it. Name it ice cream. Whoop. I gotta, I gotta let Elise name him. Cause you know, there it's an axolotl. <laughs> like kind of her thing <laughs> we'll name the next one goopy yeah ice cream okay you stay here ice cream but i'm i'm gonna come back for you i gotta figure out how to help you very important oh he's following me oh ice cream i didn't see henry i'm sorry okay i'm gonna make a list hold on hold please i don't want to run out of Hold on. I'm so sorry. I didn't see Henry. It's hard. There's a lot of pink and red in my chat right now. I'm doing my best. Okay. Names. Henry. And then Goopy. <laughs> We've got some well-rounded names in the chat here. Thank you. <laughs> this is completely valid. I understand. If we get a turtle, I would like to name them lasagna. Lasagna. Is there a jellyfish friend? I don't know if we encounter anything other than Lottles. Um, it's also fair if you think Henry is just a boring name. No, I love naming animals, like just boring human names. It's one of my favorite things. I don't know if we encounter other sea creatures. I hope so. That would be great. If we do, we'll find out. In the demo, I only encountered Lottles. We shall see. Hello, ice cream. How you doing, ice cream? Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. <gasps> we did it! If my observations are correct, this biome is completely free of contaminants. What about ice cream? Excellent job. I'm marking this as a fast travel location for you. Whenever you want to return here, just approach your ship and select your destination. Well, that's nice. How, where, how do I get back to my ship? Oh, there's my ship. But I want, I want the Lotl to come with me. Love a cat named Stuart? Yes. Pets with human names? Uh, yeah, above pretty much everything else. Agreed. 100% agreed. Uh, fast travel? But wait, no, the, the Lotl needs to come with me. Okay, so the home cave is that way? It looks like? Oh, there's a map. Thank you. Based on my latest review of the planet, I recommend you visit Flotsam Flats Net. Flotsam Flats! Should just be south of your home cave. Okay, our cove. 
poor little guy is so gooped. We gotta ungoop him. I'm hoping maybe if he follows me home, he'll be ungooped. He'll be degoopified. Okay. I do think all the things. <gasps> we did it! Oh, he just had to go through a little ring. How you doing? <gasps> He's clean, happy, and hungry. Aww, good. Come here, ice cream. I do think of all the things I watched at a child that, that I shouldn't have. Majority of it was like edited versions of the R-rated movies that were on TV. And then my family and I decided to watch Pearl Harbor in theaters when I was like seven. I don't think Jess remembers this, but we went on a field trip in high school uh, and we went to see Pearl Harbor in theaters. Uh, and that was a really bad idea because one, there was a sex scene. Um, and two, we were like 14 and assholes, <laughs> just collectively collective assholes <laughs> so i do remember okay good <laughs> it's terrible that is how we ungoop how we get gwyneth paltrow out of here all right hello you like your home do you think this is your home oh my god he's this little guy how do i feed you can I... Will you eat? Would you like... <gasps> Yay! Well, that and block him from reading more... Eh, there was an inevitable joke. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Interesting. That lava seems to be growing new features with each bite of fruit. Ooh. Have a different bite. No matter, do not let that creature distract you from your job. I'm gonna let this creature distract me from everything. My job, my oxygen levels, my family, everything. The movie was eh, but my seven year old brain was like, why do they keep shooting people? Why is this movie so bloody? What is happening? I'm gonna have nightmares. This is a core memory. Yeah, like I mentioned Nightmare on Elm Street a lot because it really is a core memory for me. That and the leprechaun. Yeah, that and the leprechaun. Still, still haven't rewatched those in a long time. <laughs> I don't have to. I remember them. <laughs> you still hungry? Um. Okay, I have a lot of these, so why don't you take a couple? I remember taking a field trip to the Mark Twain cave. In seventh grade, our tour guide told a horror story. We turned off the lights for just a second. And I started sobbing. <laughs> My teacher had to like stay right next to me for the rest of the tour. Aww. This is age 13. I've always been a baby. It's okay to be a little sensitive. Oh, we can craft a lottle toy. Seems to like you even more now. Yeah, it does. I give up. Play with a lottle all you like. Just please don't forget about your job. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Come here, little friend. I'm gonna make you a toy. Alright, how do I craft him a toy? <gasps> Rope toy! Oh! And a bouncy ball! Oh my god, I need stuff. One of my teachers in seventh grade thought it was a good idea to show us Saving Private Ryan. That was a seventh grade? That's a little young. That's a little young for Saving Private Ryan. That was a hard one to watch, even at my, like, whenever the hell I watched it. I think it was a teenager. <laughs> Elise! <laughs> I mean, you're right, but Elise. <laughs> We're going through World War II in history class. Yeah, but like, you could watch a lot of different things. You could watch a lot of other movies. Like, yes, yeah, Saving Private Ryan is like fantastic. It's a great movie. Uh, but you could have watched something else. Oof. Okay, so uh, fun fact. Uh, that movie that Jedi mentioned uh, is why I'm scared of spiders. Fun fact. Uh, I watched that way too young. I didn't realize it was a dark comedy. Scared the shit out of me. Scared of spiders ever since. Before that, wasn't scared of spiders. Didn't bother me. Didn't bother me at all. My friend Terry and I, um, we used to go out and look for spiders. 
um, before that, and then I saw arachnophobia, and then I was uh, just um, uh, scarred, scarred for life, <laughs> scarred for life. Everyone had to get a permission slip signed by their parents in order to watch it. <laughs> They're lucky. I just, I just caught it on TV one day. <laughs> I just didn't get my parents the permission slip. That's fair. I know they didn't, they didn't, they, they didn't sign it. I don't know. Okay, how do I get that stuff? <clears throat> How do I get this? What do I do? Does this give me- Oh, these give me stuff. Okay, so what did I need? Hold on. Hold, please. My teacher was like, if you're sensitive to violence, let me know and you can sit in the other room. Oh my god. Come on. Like, my- Like, we watch, like, The, the Great Gatsby. Like- <laughs> And I got, well, I got, I got kicked out of the class for that one. Okay, hang on. No, it's over here. I'm an idiot. It's over here. Okay, we need. Oh, we did. Do we have everything? <gasps> I'd like to craft it. I just don't have a bouncy ball, but I can craft this. <gasps> Yay! Okay, no friend. Where are you at? <gasps> Come here, little friend! Come here, I made you a little toy! Hey! Hey! Hi! Oh my! Okay. This is so cute. Enjoy! So it seems, it's based on the name, it's only lottles, which resemble axolotls, but are in fact aliens, but require an elo a yellow or orange lottle named lasagna. Okay. I will cross out goopy, and I will put lasagna. You got it. Alright. Hi! Do you like your toy? How are you? Oh my god. You're so cute! Best thing we watched in school during 10th grade science class, we went over the scientific method and my teacher decided to let us watch House. I mean, depending on the episode. Yeah, depending on the episode. Okay, I want it to get to 100% growth and then I want to bring it back to its habitat. Come here, eat something. There you go. We used to watch number oh no it's a terrible one just in general it's just not a it's just not good <laughs> oh you're so cute okay you're good you're at growth progress is at a hundred percent but we don't know your we don't know your favorite food yet and i want to know that okay can you stay here then all right why don't you stay here and then we're gonna find Flotsam Flats. Okay, so I need to go, it's like this way. Is that right? Yeah, good enough. The show made me feel smart in math even though I didn't know half the stuff they were talking about. Valid. I never know what I'm talking about or what anyone else is talking about. I'm just vibing. Yep. I can't remember like what else they made us watch. I know like at some point we watched All Quiet on the Western Front, like the black and white one, because you know, everybody watches that one. Um, and then we watched the Romeo and Juliet. Um, we watched, we, would, we watched a lot of Bill Nye. That was just kind of like easy out thing that a lot of, uh, science and homeroom teachers would do. Um, no. We watched two Romeo and Juliet's. We just watched the the one. Watch the actual thing. Uh, we watched the Leonardo DiCaprio movie instead. Oh no, I was um, I watched that movie. Uh, and fun fact, I don't give a fuck. I like that movie. I think that's that's a it's a fucking hilarious movie. It's so campy without like trying to be. I love it. Um, 
But no, we watched like the other one that I don't really like to talk about because, you know, there's some not great things that came out about that movie. Um, but that's like the, the, the like 60s, 70s one. So we watched that. Um, we saw Pearl Harbor in theaters for some ungodly reason. Yeah, that's about all I remember. I mean, that was a long time ago. <laughs> I, don't, I do not recall. Oh, we need to find, we need to find this place. I need to find Aquaman. I think it's just down here. The Love Fool song came out. Me and the whole class were like, wait, that's where the song came from? I, the entire, when I tell you the entire Romeo and Juliet soundtrack is like, oops, all bangers. Every song for the most part on that soundtrack is just fantastic. It's fantastic. 10 out of 10. You got Local God. Uh, you got, well, that's, I think that's Everclear. Uh, and it's not that one Everclear song that always plays. Uh, you've got fucking Butthole Surfers on there. You got Garbage, number one crush. That song, oh my God, the chokehold number one crush by Garbage had on me when, as a child. Oh my God. That was the first CD I ever bought was the Romeo and Juliet soundtrack, and it was phenomenal, and I do not regret it. I gotta find oxygen. I know. What on earth is calling me? Please hold. Sponsors. <laughs> go for it. Go. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just let me just turn slightly away. <laughs> Absolutely did not. Don't know what you're talking about. Okay. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I like Mothman. Brought to you by Mothman. That's my favorite one. Just FYI. <laughs> oh boy. That's right. I'm dying. Uh <laughs> Howard, I'm dying. Uh, I am, no, we're gonna die. With very little swag. I don't even think this is the way. Maybe it is. It's right there. It's right there. Oh my God. Come on. Come on, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my 
the, the axolotl grew up. Nice. Oh, now I gotta find the flats again. I think it was this way. Max, thank you for the tea reminder. I have no tea, but I will try to drink the rest of my very lukewarm iced coffee from this morning. Hang on. Get ready for the chatter. Done. <laughs> Nailed it. Frankly, crushed it. Ooh, what's this? I got distracted. I found a boat. Y'all want to go for a boat ride? Okay. Can I do anything with this? No? Just there? Just being a boat? Okay, cool. Alright, we're back at Flotsam and Flats. We're okay. Ooh! Ooh, the color shift there. Ooh. I got my swim trunks and my flippy floppies. I'm flipping burgers here. You can't go straight flipping copies. Yep. The little bubbles give you air. Are they just decoration? You know, I don't know if the little bubbles do. I know the big ones do. Does that give me air? Hold on. Yeah, they do. They give you a little bit of air. That's good to know. Thank you for asking, Jedi. I'm sure there'll be a tea break at some point. At the very least, I'm going to have to go to the bathroom at some point because... I, I'm drinking a lot of coffee. I'm gonna have to pee. <laughs> like, let's be real. Just water and coffee, and oh, that's all I got right now. But yeah, I'll have to pee. Any whomst. Oh, I can't do that. Your bubble gun is too weak to clean this object. You may upgrade your equipment at the shipping station. In your own home. Well, fuck you. Why didn't you just give me those? Why didn't you just give me the materials I need for this? Fucking undersea diving adventure. The babies like them, so I must collect them. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? They're a little new fruit! Lotus kiwi! How cute! What are you? Give me that. Electric electronic bit. We got a bit. Cause they want you to work for it. Working for things in a video game. And why is it that like I like the the only form of media that you could be bad at? What is that? You know, like you can't be bad at like watching TV, but I chose to play video games. So you can be bad at it, and I am. <laughs> There's a new one. He's purple. You're so goopy. Oh my God. Okay, this one's Henry. Henry, there you go. Love you, Henry. Never change, except for the goop. We'll get the goop off. Little goopy Henry. <laughs> He's just a little guy. Oh, nice. I love like the satisfaction when you clean something off and then like something grows immediately. Even if it doesn't give you an item, it's just so nice. When it gives you an item though, it's even better. <laughs> TV is on and I'm sitting on my phone. I'm bad at watching TV. You know, it's like, you can't be bad at consuming some sort of media. You know, it's fine. Try to avoid swimming near any plants until you get the lotl clean. You're just watching TV on your own terms. That's all. Totally fine. Oh, I need oxygen. I know. I got a sardine can. There are lots of people bad at watching TV. That's why Trek Lord is so rich. All right, you know what? Fine. You win this round, everyone. Stop yelling at me. I know I need oxygen. It's like a whole thing that I'm aware that I need it to live, but I'm very busy. You. 
Yes, I could swim to your your little brethren. 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 Not. Gosh darn it, Henry. I'm dying here. Can't you see that? Can't you see? straight gooping I'm dying can't you see that can't you see now go away I've got more shit to steal I think about that stand-up special oh. oh my god thank you so much for the follow I appreciate it welcome on in welcome 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 grab a seat all right I don't know why I said that. I've never said that in my life to anyone following. Any hoomst. Alright, so we need to get back. I want to get back to our base. Uh, so that I can upgrade that, our little gun. And also, uh, ungoopify Henry. Come on, Henry. You're very goopy. We gotta fix that. You need to be de-gooped. Henry, stop fucking up my progress. Knock it off. You're very cute, but you're getting on my last nerve. There's a fight. Okay, ready? Go, Henry. Vamanos! Okay, come on. <gasps> Yay! Degoop! 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 Alright. Clean, happy, and hungry. I hope you'll get along with your new your new brother or I don't sibling I guess all right where is Harry <gasps> look at him ice cream you look so good oh my god you're such a cutie you gotta gotta get I gotta give your siblings some food oh my god wait come back Hello! Would you like... Would you like that? This is a whisker lottle! Known for their whiskers, of course! I would have assumed they would look more like cats. I love them. But look, look at you. Look at you. Oh my god. A whisker lottle! <laughs> He's so cute. I still don't know your favorite food! Is there any... Do I have any other... Would you like a kiwi? A lotus kiwi? You like that? No? Not a fan? Okay. Hold on. Uh, this is the only other fruit I have. Let me know if you like it. Harry and ice cream will be best friends. I want them to be, but apparently this one has to go out into the wild. You don't even know your favorite food yet. All right. Well, let's take you back to your home, okay? Can I fast travel with you? Is that something I can do? I doubt it. Let's find out. Will you come with me if I do that? <gasps> ice cream! Okay. You stay here now. No? I think that level will stop following you. Oh, okay. Come here. Oh, we're in Flats and Flats. Wait, I thought we were in... Oh, okay. No, you're good? You're okay now? 
No, yeah, we're in the right place. Okay. <gasps> there we go. It looks like the Lottle is now comfortable living in this area. Better here than near our precious equipment. Screw your equipment, Dave. This is my friend. This is my friend. You're so cute. <laughs> Stuff it, Dave, you're a narc. Damn right. You tell him, Elise. I won't stand for this shit. Oh, we can clean up over here a little bit, too. This game. I could play this game all day. Holy shit. It's so satisfying. I'm just cleaning up the ocean. I'm just cleaning up trash. That's all you do. Clean up trash. You find little goopy animals. You de-goop them. And then you, you, you release them back into the wild. It's perfect. 10 out of 10. It's game of the year. Game of the year, y'all. I don't even know. I, don't even, I have nothing else to say about it. Fantastic. Dave can come out here in... <laughs> Chromaville to see if he has a problem with the lottles. <laughs> if I find a car flipped over, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> Come here, give me the garbage. The garbage, yo. Have like one of those moments this is a little random but do you ever have one of those moments where like you're minding your own fucking business and then you remember like a piece of media that you haven't thought about in maybe like 20 years Has that ever happened to you because that happened to me the other day i was minding my own business i was just vibing i think i was probably working and all of a sudden i remembered this song and i i haven't tried to look up the, the artist yet, but it was called I'm Dead, But I Don't Know It. And I, I have no idea where it came from. I hadn't thought of it, at, again, in probably like 20 years. I used to play on Dr. Demento when I was a kid. And there it was, just in my brain again. Who sings that song? I'm gonna look it up right now. That happened to me today? What did you remember? Isn't that so fucking weird? Like, I always just assume that my memories are gone forever. <laughs> and then every once in a while, one comes back and I'm like, oh shit. Dr. Demento! Fuck yeah, Elise. I grew up on Dr. Demento. That was my shit. I have a Dr. Demento playlist on Spotify. If you're not familiar, you should check it out. I think it's a pretty good... I was a fish heads girly? Hell yeah. Barns and Barns. Hold on, I'm gonna find my Dr. Demento fucking playlist. If you like dumb parody music specifically from around like the 90s um uh that's that's pretty much my entire dr demento playlist <laughs> or at least what was being played on dr demento in the 90s uh how do i share this copy link there you go enjoy all right i need to find this song though hold on it was called i'm dead but i don't know it It was Randy Newman! <laughs> it was Randy Newman the whole time! Son of a bitch! <laughs> of course it was Randy Newman! Who else was it gonna be? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna add it to my Dr. Demento playlist. There's two versions. Oh, that's the live version. Okay, and then there's... With Don Henley! Okay, I'm just gonna do the regular one. Add to playlist. Oh god, I have too many playlists. Dr. Demento. Boom. There you go. <laughs> he of the short people got no reason to live fame. The very same. The very same. It was background music for this one potty training video that my kids, uh, that my parents had when I was like three. I was like, how do I still remember this? That is wild. That's so wild. I definitely don't remember anything from that early in my childhood. Like, I, 
Most of it is gone anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna lie to you. <laughs> I don't remember almost anything. This is my home base. Reoxygenate. Oh, and check on our little friend. Political science is my Randy Newman go to. Hell yeah. Apparently mine is I'm dead, but I don't know it. I didn't <laughs> I didn't know. 20 years upon the stage. I hear the people say, why won't he go away? Alright, let's see. Here. Clean, happy, and satisfied. Good. Would you like did you like your did you like the toy? Did you like that? You wanna play with it? <laughs> He's just a little guy. Awesome. You like it? I hope you like it. You little cutie. Here, have some fruit. I gotta go for a while. Why won't he go away? Oh, so it was an auto background. It's like the old Randy Newman song. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was. I don't know. It was very silly. It was a very silly song. And I feel like the main reason that I remember it um, is because the song title was so bizarre to me when I was a kid. And I still remember like, I still remember hearing Dr. Demento saying, that's I'm dead, but I don't know it. And just like, what the fuck kind of song title is that? And then later I discovered the World Inferno Friendship Society and I was like, oh, it can get weirder. Cool. <laughs> Some of my absolute favorite song uh, song titles of all time are from the World of Bruno Friendship Society. Zen and the Art of Breaking Everything in Sight. Wonderful. Naughty Little Rat Makes Friends. I Wouldn't Want to Live in a World Without Grudges. That's one of my favorites. This is fantastic. This fantastic song title. Just so forever so thrilled that you know them. Same. <laughs> I wish I could have seen them. I had an opportunity to see them live. Um, I think it was like 2010, maybe. And I, I just, I had no one who would go with me. <laughs> and I was just, I was not wanting to go to a concert alone. Didn't go, and I was like, oh, I'll see them another time. And um, yeah, that ain't, that ain't happening. <laughs> that should fail. I'm not sure if this exactly correlates, but in the middle, but in middle school, I bopped to some bad lip reading music videos, like the seagulls, <laughs> the seagull song that I tormented Zach with. I think about that song a lot. Is it a good song? No, but I think about it a lot. Oh, I didn't upgrade my dang gun. My ding dang diddly gun. Didn't do it. I'll have to do that again. I'll have to go back. <gasps> oh, I thought it was another lotl. I thought it was a green one. I got excited. My favorites were Dirty Spaceman and Russian Unicorn. I appreciate that. Could have seen Shonen Knife, but didn't want to go alone. Yeah. There's been a lot of a lot of bands that I would have loved to see, but I just I didn't want to go by myself. So I <laughs> I will forever feel a little bad. A little bad. Um that in, in my defense okay so in my defense um one year for zach's birthday it was actually like 20 maybe i think um i bought tickets to a concert um that for both of us and frankly did not did not did not even ask if you wanted to go or not well i think i did i think i asked um but uh it was it was on his birthday and i was not going to miss it it was one of my favorite bands. They had not been uh, to this area. Uh, they had not left the West Coast uh, in like 25 years. <laughs> they had never done a show the entire time that I was aware of them. I found them like freshman year of high school. Um, and I was like, listen, I know it's your birthday. Uh, I bought tickets for the show. If you do not want to go, I understand. 
Um, but I'm gonna be sad. And he was like, no, we'll go. So he spent his birthday with, uh, at fucking Nerf Herder with me. I was like, blast. But, you know, there's some bands that like, you know, I'm, I'm just probably never gonna see because I don't want to see them by myself. That's all. I don't really like going to concerts by myself. Never been a huge fan of that. Yes! Do you know Nerf Herder release? Oh my god. You're in the running for favorite person. Fucking love Nerf Herder. They hadn't, they, they hadn't toured in my area in like 25 years. <laughs> I was so, so excited. But then there were like four opening bands, right? There were four opening bands. And I think this was like, I had worked that day. Um, and I was fucking exhausted. I was so tired. And like, we didn't realize that there were so many opening bands. And like, I think it got to the point where it was like nine o'clock or 10 o'clock or something. And I was so tired, which I know is, is bad, but I was so exhausted. And I, I literally, no, they, they really never do. And it's super rude. Uh, but I was really like, I, I looked at Zach and I was like, if they don't come on soon, I'm, I'm we're going to have to leave. I was like, so we were at like this venue that has like, like a lower area. And then the upper area is just kind of like a little bit of standing room. And then like a long bench on the back, like on the back wall. And I was like falling asleep on the bench. I was so tired. And like the other pants, bless them. They weren't good. So I was just like, I, I, I don't know if I can do this. And like, and Zach was like, if you really want to, we'll go. Like, I don't have any skin in this. Like, I don't have a dog in this fight. I don't, you know, it doesn't bother me if we need to leave. Um, I was sitting there on the group W bench. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but uh, I remember they finally came on and I was like, okay, they're, they're getting on. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to stay on. And the first song they played is my favorite song. <laughs> and as Zach tells it, I immediately shot up and went downstairs. <laughs> And I was awake for the rest of the night. I was so happy. Which, if you if you want to know my favorite song by Nerf Herder, it's Vivian. It's my favorite song by Nerf Herder. It's the first track off of How to Meet Girls. It's a wonderful song. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Hello, Henry. How you doing? Looks like this one has simply grown into a bigger version of their baby form. That's how I feel, too. I've read that Lottles can evolve into quite unique forms when fed certain diets. Interesting. Jumbo baby. <laughs> Growth progress zero percent. What's your status? Okay, you're good. You want you want a snack? You can have a snack. Here, why don't you have that? Okay. Alright, let me see if I can upgrade my gun before I forget again. So I need to get a blaster module. I need to get three of those. I believe it's all hands. I have a lot of hands. Okay, that is how I get it. All right, let's get one. Cool. All right, let's go upgrade our gun. I'm hit or miss with a lot of fat wreck bands, but when they hit, boy, how do they hit? Agreed. Fat wreck was a weird time. It was a weird time. How incredibly fitting that the jumbo baby is the one I need. Duh. I kind of want to go to the punk rock museum in Vegas next time we're out there. Oh, I didn't know there was one. That sounds awesome. We've been trying to plan like a little trip to Vegas um, at some point. I'll have to remember that and add it to the list. Hang on, I have a little list. Just put it on the list. Okay, yeah, it opened the seat this year. Awesome. Okay, hang on. Where's my... Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to write that down. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Okay. 
There it is. Punk Rock Museum. Dang. Kindly. We'll get there eventually. I'd like to go. Um, there's like, there's just a lot of restaurants that we want to go to out there, which is so funny because neither of us gamble. We don't. <laughs> we don't gamble. <laughs> we both just want to go and eat a lot of expensive food. That did just remind me of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductions from this year. One of them was Willie Nelson, who I think most people would agree is not a rock and roll musician. There have been a few uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees who probably should not be there, but that's okay. We don't gamble either, but we love Vegas. It just like, I feel like Vegas is like the perfect mix of like, like fine dining, like, hi Zach, uh, like fine dining and tourist trap. And it's just, it's exactly what I like. <laughs> I believe Missy Elliott was in there too this year. Yeah, like, not rock and roll, but, you know, I'll allow it, I guess. But, hello, Zach. I hope work's going well. Okay, so I needed to upgrade my gun. Blaster mod. Oh. oh! Okay. What do I need? I'd like more oxygen. I'd need... Red, I like that this is all color coded, it's a lot easier. Uh, red, green, and blue. I don't think I have enough left for red, but I can certainly get more. I have hands, I need hands count. Do the other count. I got a lot of those. <gasps> they do? Hell yeah. Okay, cool. They're trying real hard to include more women and people of color. And I mean, they should, but I mean, also, you know, the music industry should have just acknowledged those people. <laughs> the Rock Hall is uh, attempting to expand into uh, people that have been heavily influenced and are influenced. So I think I can let that slide to a degree. I mean, I'm fine with Missy Elliott being there. I don't really have an opinion on Willie Nelson being there, uh, but I'm fine with Missy being there. She certainly was influential. Like I can't, you can't argue that. <laughs> like you just can't. So. Perfect. I think three of each was what I needed for Octopus. It'd be really nice to upgrade that. Okay. Is that one I no, I needed four of each. Dad gummit. That's fine, I've got plenty. I don't know if I need these for anything else, so I don't want to like just recycle them all. You know what I mean? As I just recycle them all. My hot take is that they should just stop billing it as genre specific to rock and roll. I, yeah, I can understand that, but it is a brand and it's a very recognized brand. So I can get why they're not rebranding, just kind of expanding their definition. I don't know. Like I've never taken, I've never taken the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame very seriously anyway, because they have snubbed some serious contenders. So what can you do? Oxygen up, please. Okay, we got a hundred now. All right, sweet. So let's, oh, I need to order a structure. I didn't do that. Uh, it's gonna have to wait. Okay, let's go back and then we'll destroy a crate. I'll have to look at the inductees this year and see who they've got. I only have any opinion on this because my mom's friend from out of state was visiting when the induction ceremony was on and she insisted on watching it on our TV. I don't I don't think I know anyone who's watched like the actual ceremony in a decade. <laughs> and to each their own, but yeah, that's that's surprising. Some garbage. Give me the garbage. Eat it. Come on. On purpose. 
It streamed live on Disney Plus. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I suppose that's not like too weird. It's not too out there. All right, we're back. I'm gonna destroy a crate. You guys are gonna be so impressed. You won't. You don't even know. I hope you're ready to be super impressed with me. Rage against the machine. Kate Bush. Finally. Yeah, I'm on board with Kate Bush. 100%. Like, did she influence rock and roll? Uh, probably not, but she influenced a lot of good music. I don't know why I'm saying influence. Influence. I don't know why I'm pronouncing it that way. I found out the artist that wanted to pay for everything, which is weird. Yeah, a little bit. I guess, it, well, I mean, hell, the fucking uh, Hollywood walk or whatever, the, the stars, they have to pay for those. Like, that's how you get one. That's how you get a star. You pay for it. I'm like, well, that kind of really just ruins it. Walk of Fame, thank you. Placebo's cover of Running Up That Hill is a banger. Hear me out. Kate Bush's song, Running Up That Hill, is a banger. I listen to that song all the time. I love Kate Bush. And Wuthering Heights, oh my god. Just wonderful. I ordered a little pin. Oh, it hasn't shown up yet. I should check on that. But I ordered a little pin of her uh, dancing in her little red dress in the, in the music video for Wuthering Heights. So good. Love it. Jess and I had a little night a while back where we were just watching Kate Bush videos. It's fantastic. <laughs> I have a Future Heads cover of Hounds of Love. I don't know that one. Hounds of Love is great though. Yeah. Her music is good enough to be covered by a lot of people. I'd say she's influenced rock and roll. Yeah, her music is fantastic. <clears throat> have you seen what I lovingly refer to as Kate Bush? No, I have not. I would like to. I love that big boy from Outcast gave her speech. Oh my God, it's like your two interests combined. <laughs> your two worlds collided. That's fantastic. A few years ago uh, for one of the charities, no feeling dressed in the red dress and the Wuthering Heights. I remember that. I remember that. Noel Fielding is so fucking funny. <laughs> I do remember that. I'll place it in your Discord as well. Please do. Everyone should watch it. He's like her biggest fan. It's amazing. They were supposed to collab before the pandemic. Can you imagine? The, the things that COVID took from us, you know? <laughs> the things it took from us. That would have been fucking amazing. And it would have been like, I love collabs like that, that are like not what you would expect at all to happen, but they're done so sincerely. That's the best. That's just the best. I love Outcast. Yeah, Outcast is great. That's one of Jesse's favorites. Thoughts on the Andre 3000 flute album? I'm sure she has some. <laughs> the world needed an ancient flute album and the man delivered. There you go. <laughs> he surely did. I don't, I just don't feel like he can do any wrong musically. I don't know him as a person. He might suck. Who knows? But musically, 10 out of 10. Cans. I need to find. Well, here's some. I can. Take a I really need to find more oxygen. Bigger bubble. <laughs> I get.
can see why, because the ears are like, because the little things sticking out on either side are like flesh colored. I, I'm not going to say anything, don't worry about it. picks up in this but I do like it it reminds me a lot of um, like the uh, the underwater level Katamari music but a lot more chill like a lot soft very nice it's just a very like comfortable game you know what I mean very cozy very chill low stakes cleaning up the ocean Wonderful. got everything you need not been skipping as bad as it has been. I haven't seen any complaints yet. So I've got my fingers crossed. I looked through like my my most recent streams and like the last three, I feel like it was harder to tell during the Lethal Company stream, uh, but I was absolutely skipping. It was pretty rough in retrospect. So I, like I said, I changed my bitrate and I moved some things around. Hopefully that solves that issue. It skipped a little? Oh my god. That's super frequent. I don't, I don't know what else it could be. I even like moved, um, I thought maybe like my webcam was just like way too high of a resolution. So I like moved it to an entirely different scene. So I, 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 well, I, could, I guess I could try to bring the bit rate down a little bit more. I think I could probably bring it down to like 3000. That seems to have been what I had to guess what's done it. It's so frustrating because, like, it doesn't tell you, Andre 2000, mm -hmm. it doesn't tell you, like, what's causing the issue. It doesn't troubleshoot shoot it at all for you. You just kind of have to guess. Actually, let me check my real quick. I don't know if it's gonna fuck shit up. Find out. That fuck my shit up? I never opened task manager on stream. Well, yeah, I guess that could be causing a problem. I mean, mostly what's taking up my my space right now is is, is Streamlabs and Model Not. pretty much the main thing. Like I could close Discord technically, but it's not taking up that much. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I'll try to bring the bitrate down a little bit longer, uh, or a little bit lower, and see if that helps. And if not, I don't know, maybe I just need to install some more, um, some more memory, because it is like, Eating up my memory right now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I need to get ready for bed. Uh, thank you for a very chill, loddly stream. Thank you for being here, at least. I appreciate it. I hope you get to play the game and you enjoy it. For sure. Always fun having you here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. This is a much larger section. I need to get to that crazy ass ship up there. I feel like there's gotta be something in there that I don't remember. I think I got to clean this section during the demo, but it has been a while. <laughs> we'll go for like a little bit longer, um, but we're, we're doing a, gonna be doing a little bit shorter. Especially since I started. Here. 
The COVID test is finally negative. Fuck yeah, thank goodness. I'm so glad to hear it. That was a long fucking time, Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. nests on the seafloor below you. I've read that adult lottles lay eggs by transmitting particles of energy. Wait, where are the nests? Oh, these. Are these little lottle nests? Yeah. Max, thank you for playing my favorite sound. I appreciate it. It's day 12. Soon I was going to send you messages via carrier pigeon after I wrote them with a quill. I mean, are you going to not now? Because it's a little disappointing. <laughs> like, you could still do that. Well, it's supposed to snow next week, so uh, I'm not going to say then. But I do think we need to see each other soon, because I have your Christmas present, and I need to give it to you. Sitting under the tree that I haven't taken down yet, which I, I do need to take down this week. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this weekend or last weekend, and I didn't. I did nothing. I think this biome is clean enough for some lottles to move in. Don't let that distract you from the remaining ca contaminants, though. Why don't you stop telling me what what are you, my boss? I mean, yeah, okay, you are my boss, but like also the boss, Dave. Now you're concerned about the lottles. Now you're concerned about. I just don't believe that you're sincere in your concern for me. Truly. some models. What more do you need? I'm getting together at some point this month with the fan for a belated Christmas, so that would be perfect. Okay, cool. Yes. Let me know. Just let me know. And then I'll, I'll give you your present. I wrapped it in corgi bread. <laughs> I thought maybe that would be an incentive. I'll make you some coffee, you know. Great. I still have a couple of gifts that I need to give out. Can't wait. Hell yeah. I'm excited. I'm I do wonder if there's like gun upgrades to make people look better. Or maybe like we get like a goop bomb. We can just like destroy a bunch of goop at once. That'd be cool. Song's been stuck in my head all day. What is that, Destiny's Child? Is that who sang Say My Name? Yeah, yeah, that's an easy one to get stuck in your head. I understand that. I always tend to get, um, 
Bugaboo. I get bugaboo stuck in my head. <laughs> and then, uh, um, Bills, Bills, Bills. Oh my god. That fucking song was inescapable when it came out. I don't know if Bugaboo is Destiny's Child. I know Bills, Bills, Bills. Don't remember. But I love that song. It's the most dated song I could ever think of. It made me want to throw my uh, throw my pager out the window, tell MCI to hold the phone calls. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's Destiny's Child. Okay, cool. I discovered an act, a Lotto's favorite food. When did I do that? Cool. He must have ate the one that I left there, maybe. I don't know. I sure hope there's some oxygen in here because I'm going in. There is not. Okay, I gotta find some oxygen. I haven't found like anything like big in terms of like something I can get oxygen from. It's all these little guys. Whereas like in the first reef we found like big bubbles. And granted I could probably like fast travel to the first reef but I can't fast travel back here. That doesn't really do me any good gonna sit here on top yeah destiny's child had some real earworms so i can't i can't argue that at all oh i should go answer two bubbles i was going to say no scrubs but that's tlc hell yeah that's tlc God, I loved TLC when I was a kid. Oh my god. They were so fucking good. But No Scrubs gets in my head too. All of those like early like girl group R&B kind of things are like, they, 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 they just get in my head. The one time when Weezer decided to cover, uh, do a cover of No Scrubs and it oddly slapped, I argue, I would argue that Weezer has never made a cover song that slapped, ever. I'm so sorry, that is my opinion. <laughs> like, has Weezer made some songs that have slapped? Yes. Have they made any songs that have slapped since like 2000? No, no they have not. Well, whenever the Green Album came out, I'll give them that. Because Island, Island in the Sun was a banger. But whenever the fucking uh, hash pipe came out, no, fuck you. <laughs> no, Beverly Hills, th that song, I hate that song so much. I hate that song so much. I don't even have words for how much I hate Beverly Hills. What was that other one? The fucking Frank of Beans or whatever? God, damn, that was terrible. All my homies hate Beverly Hills. Mm hmm agreed. Not having it. Not about that life. I saw Weezer in concert once and they were the most boring show I'd ever seen in my life. And no, like, no energy whatsoever. No energy. Like, you know, granted it could have been a bad day. I don't know, but no energy. Did not enjoy. Would not recommend. Buddy Holly song uh, music video came with my Windows 1995 CD-ROM. Did anyone else have Windows Millennium Edition? I think it was Windows ME, and it came with a fucking. It was David Byrne singing. Byrne? I I don't. I realize I've never said his name out loud. Um, singing like humans do. It just came free as an MP3 on my computer, and that worked because I still love that song. <laughs> Hello, little Lottle. Hi. Oh, she's sad. Is she goopy? I don't know what to name this one. Do we have a name for this one? But yeah, I remember the video. The video for Buddy Holly was good. The blue album was good. 
Pinkerton was good. Except for that one song. Uh, but Pinkerton was good. And then, well, except for those two songs. Uh, and then the Green Album was good. Buddy Holly for this name? Sure, that could be Buddy Holly. Mr. Lottle? Okay, I'll add Mr. Lottle to the to the list. He'll be the next one. Mr. Bob. We still need to find a yellow or orange one and name it lasagna, so. Three names. See if Buddy Holly fits. Ooh, it does. Nice. Okay. Alright, Buddy Holly. He says, what's with these homies dissing my girl? Yeah, when it comes to Weezer, don't like the new songs. That that one song that they had, uh, Keep Fishing. Not the best song, but the music video was great because it was all Muppets. It was fantastic. It was just a Muppet video. Uh, so I loved that. But that I, that was the only thing I liked about that album <laughs> was the Muppet video. What's this? Hello? Hollow badges. You've collected a hollow badge from a Guppy employee. You better hold on to those so we can return them to Guppy once we're done. Say It Ain't So is a great song. Great song. I, I would agree. I think that's one of my favorite songs by them. It's it's just really good. <laughs> open my hollow badge. Who's this? Ms. Hunter, office manager. Has anyone tried feeding the Lottles? They're so cute. I haven't seen a lotl in a while. Do you think the refinery link has anything to do with that? Well, that's <laughs> that's uh that's rough. I know, I know. I need to get oxygen, but first, range. If my observations are correct. This biome is completely free of contaminants. We did it. I'm marking this as a fast travel location for you. Whenever you want to return here, uh, just approach your ship and select your destination. Very cool. I need uh, I need oxygen and you're not helping me, okay? Oh, no, it's not free of contaminants. Okay, that's fine. We might die here. Um, I didn't factor that in. I think I'm gonna just have to get to my ship. Which I think is over here. not over here in fact. Uh oh. There's my ship. Shit. <laughs> but yeah, Say It Ain't So is an absolute banger. It's a great song. I like Island in the Sun too. Like I said, Green Album was was pretty good. Um, I've got like a very special place in my heart for Pinkerton for some reason. Okay. Oof. All right. And he does come with. Yay, come here. Let's get you de-gooped. You must be ungooped. <gasps> Yay! You look just like Buddy Holly. Okay. Let's see. Let's check in on our other little guy. Hi, little guy! This isn't part of your job, but that lotto looks like it you could use some cheering up. I wonder what would happen if you reached out to a person. How do I do that? I've got a full inventory. Oh no, I'm sorry. Um, here. Okay, now can I do it? What do I do? Here, have some food. Everybody have some food. Everybody eat. 
Buddy Holly stares nervously at the small crowd you're traveling in. John. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gotta name, rename the other one Richie Valens. Get out of here. Look, he's happy now. Yeah. How you doing? You doing better? Added. Neutral. Okay, what if I made you another toy? Would a toy help? I'll do whatever you want. You're so cute. Okay, I need an organic bit. How do I make an organic bit? I don't think I can. Oh, okay. This is probably. We named the ship the Big Bopper! <laughs> yes, yes, we can. <laughs> oh. I'm so dumb. I used, <laughs> used the pairs I needed for this. All right, hang on. That's okay, the pairs are easy. him a little beach ball because he's just a little guy and he's all unhappy like craft one yay i can't pick it up why can't i pick it up hmm, just annoying. oh there we go i was pressing the wrong button Like that? Yeah? Good fan? <gasps> Yay! Okay, I should really get you back to like a bio. So why don't you? <sighs> How about you follow me? And then let's go ahead and go back. Alright, Henry, come here. Yeah, you like it? Okay. Good, good. Alright, have fun, Henry. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Alright. Can I upgrade anything else? That would be nice. Boosteration. Oh yeah, we need to do these. Okay, so cooking module. That's. I think the recharge ring is gonna be the way to go because it's gonna give you like another structure I can put up. Let's do that. So that's two, five, and three.
not make this, but it is something that I have to do. That's cool. Open! Alright, cool. Alright, the Tangled Bay. That was... I think we need this one. I wonder if I should just be making things. There you go, enjoy. Okay, bye. Here, okay. Tangle Bay. Looks like there's still a decent part of the map still to explore. There looks like a lot in this game, yeah. Which I'm certainly not complaining. It wasn't an expensive game either, if I recall. I think it was like 20 bucks and I got it on sale. It was like already on winter sale. I'm already at a, no, I don't have enough room. Well, uh, technically I don't have enough room. <laughs> okay. They collected the garbage, but could not go to the trouble of actually taking it out. You know, they're just, they're really busy. <laughs> they're just really busy, that's all. This must be Tangle Bay. I've heard that this was once a beautiful kelp forest. Well, it certainly isn't anymore. So good job, y'all. What's this? Oh, like microplastics? That's a bummer. Those robots, were they collecting fruit? How strange. It is strange. But I found another hollow map. I want to see it. Well, this guy's rad. Dr. Tesla Wolf Kieschner. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Who keeps stealing my fruit specimens? You are interfering with my work. And then later, the fruit on this planet is useless as an energy source. I'm so glad that everyone's dreams were crushed uh, in this fucking dystopian world. It's so nice, you know? Ooh, pretty. I can't take any. I, yeah, I probably should have just, uh, I should have done that. Oh. It is microplastics. They have proper equipment to dispose of them. Okay. Maybe I should just go back. thing too is that like there's a lot of big map sections and then like like there's a big map overall and then the sections themselves are pretty large like, there's a lot to do here all right i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go 
up onto this hill, not near the microplastic, but near-ish the microplastic. I feel like I just wanted to be spottable. Let's just do like right here. Oh, I sure hope that that keeps going, because uh, time's a factor. Time's a factor. Come on. Thank you. Oi. playing a little bit of waddle not a uh, waddle not waddle not i think frankly winding down for the night because my brain is fried my goodness but thank you for the follow i appreciate it waddle not yep it's uh waddle d's cousin <laughs> it's, it's fine don't worry about it I'm so excited about these blind boxes I ordered. I hope that they come in time. Like, if not, I'll, you know, maybe just open them some other time. But, uh, I got, like, two curvy blind boxes, and they're both, like, pre-ment, which is, like, they're, like, really good blind box figures. Um, so I'm so excited to try to, like, open them up. Yeah. There's another blind box that uh, is coming out in like August that I need to pre-order as well. Uh, and it's a little Evangelion blind boxes. They're little Evangelion figures. And there's like uh, two of the Ava units and it's so cute. Like, oh no. I have to pre-order, um, there's a Crunchyroll figure of uh, Mimarin from uh, Perfect Blue. Uh, and so I need to pre-order that anyway, so I think when I pre-order that, I'm going to be I don't really buy, like, figures anymore. It's not really something that I do as much as I used to. Um, when I was younger, I collected a lot of comic book things. That was kind of my thing. Like, Zach and I were big comic book collectors. Um, so, like, I had a lot of comic book figures, which I've since downsized to just the like, figures. Um, and I, I really didn't buy much more than that except for, like, the occasional vinyl figure. So every time I buy one, it's usually just, like, something I can't pass up. And this was certainly the case. I've never seen a perfect blue statue or figure of any kind, so I'm very excited. Guy. Hey! Hi! Don't be in here. There's microplastic in here. No, no good. No bueno. How you doing? You goopy? Oh, he's so goopy. So insanely goopy. I'm trying to think of what I collect, but it's mostly just 17 albums and pretty glass bottles. That's okay. I also love a pretty little glass bottle. I'm never gonna fault anybody for that. I collect a lot of weird shit. I like. I, I think at this point, the biggest collection that I have is my video game stuff. Uh, I would probably guess. <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say that's the biggest collection I have. Because <laughs> it takes up the most space, for sure. Um, but I, there's also, I, I have, I have a lot of bones, but I definitely have more video game shit than I have bones. Surprisingly enough. I'm as shocked as you are. I could always own more bones, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm not averse to owning more bones. Um, but I have a lot of, a uh, lot of video games. <laughs> a lot of video games. I could also own more video games. I'm just throwing that out there. 
bit. Where did I just put oh my god, where did I put the octopus ring? Or was that a one time thing? That would have to come back again. But no, I think that's it. Please tell me this is the oxygen ring. No, it is not. What is what is beaming in there? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna run out of oxygen. FYI. There's another lottle in here. What the hell? Hi. Well, hi. I hope you're all ready to die together. I don't know what happens when you run out of oxygen. Uh, listen, I tried. <laughs> oh, okay, it's fine. You ran out of oxygen, so we had to bring you back to the home cave. Oh, well, that was a really... This is like driving into the lake. It's a speed run tactic. It gets me back home with the lottles. I dropped some items. Okay, that's fine. Still worth it. I found a shortcut. Look at me go. And my lottles are all fresh and so clean. Look at that. I think we did a great job here. I'm proud of us. <laughs> Hello, little friends. Come here, you want some you want some fucking food? Come here, I'll feed the shit out of you. Here you go. Is that a lot of orange enough to be called lasagna? It is! You're right. Okay. Hang on. I gotta. Come here, little guy. He's eating. I don't wanna bother him. I can't bother him, in fact. I can do nothing. I can only watch as he eats his little sneer. As he does a monch. But rest assured, when he's done eating, I'm gonna name him Lasagna. Hello! I'm here! Rename. Lazagon. That's right, right? Done and done. Now you are a- Oh no, I named the wrong one! Gosh darn it! Okay, hang on. No. You're- No, no, you're okay. You're Mr. Lottle. Is that right? Are we good now? Why does it say you're lasagna? You're both lasagna! Okay, it's fixed. <laughs> it's too close. Lasagna and Mr. Lot. We did it. We did it, keepers. <laughs> Alright. So I think on that note, um, since we're back to the home base anyway, I think this is where we will leave it. Um, I will definitely be continuing to play this game. Uh, we might play some more on stream. We'll have to see. Um, so outside, just a heads up, outside of um, the affiliate stream that I'm going to be doing, um, I have no idea. Uh, is it on Switch? Do you know? I don't know. But if it is, I recommend it. Um, but uh, I don't know how regularly streaming is going to be coming back just yet. Um, I've got some plans for the new year. There's a couple of games that I know for a fact we're going to be streaming together. Um, but uh, uh, work is still worky, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but I will stream when I can. Uh, and we will definitely, at the very least, have uh, Saturday the 13th to look forward to. I'll post that in the Discord as well. Um, so, But we're going to end here for tonight. Let me see if there's anyone I can send you to. Let's take a look. But thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. As always. Let's see. All right. Uh, it looks like Marky is doing some Hollow Knight. Lily's on too. Let's go ahead and let's raid Marky because he's doing a special thing with uh, another streamer. So we'll do that. I never got to finish my word from our sponsors. I'm so sorry. Next time. Next time. Thank you for stream. Thank you all for being here so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, Ethan. Thank you all so much, as always. Um, so we're going to raid Marky. Uh, show some love. Drop some Mothman in the chats if you like. We technically have raid messages. You don't have to use them. It don't matter. <laughs> it's Marky. Marky knows who we are. All right. Good night, everybody. 